Welcome back to Sip the Tyler Films presents Ravens Roundup. We all know Baltimore picked up Mark Ingram, but let's not just throw away Gus Edwards just yet. In this video, I'm going to show you how we used him last year in a way that I still think will work next year. Gus Edwards on Sip the Tyler Film presents Ravens Roundup coming right now. <laughs> Now, before we get into the, the video of what Gus did for us last year with the Ravens, let's talk about his uh, stat line for a minute. And keep in mind, Gus only started the last six games. He played in 11 of those games, though. Uh, had 137 rushes, uh, 718 yards, and two TDs with a, a long run of 43. I think that was against the Chargers. And um, a ton of tough inside runs that went for three, four, five, six yards that kept the chains moving. Kept the defense rested and basically uh, led us to a a six and one record or seven and one record down the stretch after the bye week. But let's get into what Gus did on the field right now. Now, before we get to the live action of what should happen, I'm sorry, what's going to happen? Let me show you what should happen. Go right here. So we should have a block there, block there, block there. He's going to try to overtake this guy, seal him off. You would think he would block the outside edge, but he's not. He's on step here just in case this guy comes, then work his way up the linebacker and kick that out right there. This is our read guy. So everything's going to go in this direction, and Gus is going to hit it up in there and make people miss. And, you know, that's that's what Gus, do, Gus does, make people miss. All right, and this play here is uh, against the Raiders. And obviously you just saw me draw it up with the zone read. Simple. Bust through. Yeah, we got a hat on a hat, and you can see, you can get a better view of it from this back view. Get a hat on a hat, and all the stuff I draw up for you is about to happen again. Block the edge, block the edge. Hat on a hat, hat on a hat. About to be a hat on a hat, hat on a hat. He's gonna come up, block this guy, and here's Arden Key's the rig. I think this is Arden Key. Look at Lamar's eyes. Now, Reed got Kane with him. He handed it off. And we got, that's what we need. Hat on the hat. We would like this block to be a little better. Or maybe run him down and Gus cuts it here. But still, we got what we need going forward. Now, that's the, that's the simple part of it. Right here, you're going to get steals. You're going to get zone. Or it's going to look like a dive, but in my mind, it's still zone. But instead of having split zone, where the guy comes across and cuts off the end, he's going to... Um, Sneeds over here to block the end already. So you're gonna get a block here. I'm gonna get a mean double team there to that linebacker. You get another mean double team here to this linebacker. Uh, I can't tell which tight end is in, but he's gonna block this guy. And Sneeds should cut this guy off. He's gonna make a half effort to cut him off because this is a defensive end and a receiver. But uh, he he gets the job done. Now the zone read part was the simple part of it. Now we're gonna get a little um, tricky and add a little wrinkle to it. So to keep Lamar from running as much, we took Willie Sneed and put him on the end of the line. He's going to be the cutoff guy. So the guy that Lamar would normally read, Willie Sneed's going to cut him off, and you're still going to get your zone type concept. Gus bangs it in there for a touchdown. Safety didn't want any of that. Trust me, that safety didn't want any of Gus coming downhill. But we can do some of these same things next year. You see Sneed attempt to cut the guy off. You got your double teams, which I showed you earlier. Simple. Simple. Safety wanted none of that. Simple head on head football. Again, same type play. Same type play. Sneeze in it at the bottom of the screen. He's going to attempt to cut this guy off. And then we're going to get our double teams. He's going to climb up and, and let's go. He sneeze, attempt to cut him off. You got your double teams up front, which you'll see better from the back view. Gus finds the hole. Squirts out. Getting a hat on the head is, is all we need from, from the O-line to let Gus do his thing. Now, he's, like again, Sneed's going to cut off 35 because he's on that line of scrimmage, so there's no read. This is a give all the way, and Gus, Gus has to just pick his hole, run hard. Remember, and I didn't say it in the intro, Gus only was tackled for a loss once, maybe twice. Once during the regular season, I think once in the playoff game. 
Yeah. Hell in the head. Look at your double teams, which I showed you. Double teams here. Solo blocks. And now both of these guys, these linebackers, should get picked up by one of these guys coming off on a double team. And you can see right here, he's already coming off. Now, peeks his head in there, but the blocking is set for him right there. And when this jump cut going to put him right where he needs to be. There it is. Not very often a guy that big can jump cut that good. And I highlighted it during the season how good the jump cut was. This is Coach Evans. And one of my favorite cheat treats are these small batch artisan bites by Beyond Berries. I'm selective about my chocolate and they never disappoint. With each bite, it was an explosion in my mouth. Check out their enrolled, molded, infused, and dipped chocolate for yourself or forget them. Bites by Beyond Berries. It's more than chocolate, it's an experience. Now we're going to add a little um, nuance to what we're doing. The um, first play was the split zone. I'm sorry. First play was zone read. Now we get a little split zone action. And you can't see Boyle. He's going to come in motion right here. So let's just walk through walk you through what's going to happen. Boyle's going to come in motion. Block this guy on the edge. Um, who's this? Stanley's going to block out on Garrett. He's going to get a double here. Up to this linebacker, gonna seal him off. Uh, he's going to this guy here's gonna try to run this gap. We're just gonna wash him down, and Big Brown's just gonna climb to the linebacker, and it should be a hole sitting right there. Now we add a little more to it. So the initial step was the the zone read with Lamar, you know, reading off the end. The second step was putting Sneed or somebody else out there to block the end. Now, this third, the third part of this is actually running the guy in motion and coming back. So, this still is going to be split zone right here, but now this guy in motion. And I drew it up for you a second ago, but here's the, the video of it. Got, again, you see Boyle coming in motion. He's going to cut off that end. Bam, cut him off. And now you got all your blockers up here lined up just like the inside zone. So, you're just taking this read away. And with Lamar carrying this play fake out, it kind of helps the block from Boyle. But the, the run, look at the hole right there. Tell me we still can't do some of these things with, with matter of fact, not just more uh, with uh, Gus Edwards, with all three of the backs. If, if not four, if you add Kenny Dixon in there. He just pick his holes. Gus has great vision for a big back. He's a, he's a tweener between a big back and a speed guy. He's not just a certified big back to me because he moves so well. You ain't got your guy coming in motion. I'm sending him back in motion again do the same thing. Cut off that end. The rest of your zone blocking. As long as we get a hat on the hat, Gus can find a hole and, and, and get through there. Get positive yards. Get down here quick. Don't have to do a lot of cutting. Use his vision and go. Come back across. Block Miles Garrett. You can see the hole forming right now. You can see it forming right now. Because you got a solo block. You got this double team to that guy. You got these two guys double teaming to the linebacker. This is your read guy. And again, the read guy's getting blocked by the tight end coming back across. Just pick his hole. All right, now another wrinkle to that. You, you last saw um, us run the tight end across and then bring him back with that split zone motion. But here you're going to see the tight end go across. And then when, on his return back, they're going to think it's split zone, but it's actually going to be power. So what's going to happen is you're going to get a picking hinge right here with uh, our tackle blocking Bosa. You're going to get a down block here. Uh, down block on both of them, trying to get to, to 31. 31 is going to kind of outplay them a little bit. You get a down block here. And what's going to happen is when Max Williams comes back, he's going to be the kick out. He's going to be the kick out guy. He's going to come in motion here. He's going to come back down, kick this guy out. Then we get a, um, a pull. So it's going to look like split zone, but it's actually power. As I just draw it up, this is the wrinkle to another wrinkle. Guy's going to come in motion, showed you, going to come back in motion. And when he comes back in motion, instead of him sealing the end, the end, we're running power. Kick out and wrap. Basic power play. Love the result. Great result. Again, from the back view. Come in motion, come back, 
kick out. I think that's Ingram. Wrap to the backer. Off to the races. Off to the races. Now, we can do these things and more next year with Gus and, you know, with with the addition of Mark Ingram and, and Hill and and uh, hopefully we have Kenneth Dixon and DeLance Walker and all those guys back. We can still do some of these same type of runs with Gus and get some of the same results. And then you throw in whatever new wrinkles they got since they got a whole new playbook, so to speak. Gus should still be a factor in our offense, and hopefully we don't just throw Gus away. And, again, um, if it's your first time to the channel, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And this is Coach Evans again with Sip the Tally Films presents Ravens Roundup. Gus Edwards. This is Coach Evans from Sip the Tally Films. Make sure you go on over to teespring.com and get some of the merch we have lined up. Get your FTMF shirts, uh, stands for Film, then More Film, or Fruit Tomatoes and More Fruits. Then you can pop on over and get your athlete shirt for all those former athletes that mentally we still got it, physically we just don't have it anymore. Then you can look, check out the different products I have with the Ravens Roundup design on them. T-shirts, sweatshirts, uh, cell phone cases. All that good stuff. And again, this is Coach Evans, and I appreciate you. Salute.